in movie production. Let's die. So that was all planned out ahead of time and rehearsed. I'm not sure if we had like a six, seven cameras on that scene and also a drone to shoot it. doing they're genuinely doing that they're genuinely driving down steep rocky hillsides across rivers and they're surviving it's unbelievable neg and Rimstor, but the practicality bit still remains unbeaten wait who fights in a dress like this aren't her boobs going to come out well it's just a movie right both green screens and LED stages were used in this movie, but recently the LED is becoming more attractive and less time consuming compared to the green and blue screen which brings lots of VFX works to the bench. Two point eight millimeter pitch LED panels are connected, making a two hundred and seventy degree twenty foot radius cylinder surrounding the character and the ceiling with LEDs as well. Imagine stepping onto a film set that lets you capture a golden hour which lasts the entire day. You can also change the weather, move photos with braille backgrounds such as mountains, see a blockbuster quality VFX creature, interact with actors, or scout for location around the world. Or without get out and you still have a smile on your face. I've never seen four befores jumping so high in the air. Up a river, through a river, flipping over. It was a real high speed off road chase and looked fantastic. This isn't CGI. This is simply practical. All the stunt are for real. There's nothing that's CGI'd. Each one of those cars cost somewhere 71,000 USD. Okay, it's not three different Ariflex cameras. They also had two different IMAX cameras and two different Panavision cameras. But the most used amongst them all was Panavision Panaflex System 65 Studio. And the reason they shot on these cameras were mainly because of the rich colors they produced. Just to be able to shoot that much with those cameras was pretty amazing. Record 1,007 rows of 35 millimeters and more than 1.7 meters of 35 millimeters and 65 millimeters in total. And so the reason for IMAX in this film has to do with opening up the peripheral viewing for the audience and to be even more engulfed in, in the scenes, you know. That was really the intention to maximize the experience um, for the audience, really. 